sharing you. A daily devotional for you. My name is Daphne and I'm part of the college and career ministry here at Mainland Baptist Church. Today's devotional is titled Bearing Fruit. We'll be reading from the book of John chapter 15 verses 15 through 16. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends, for all things that I have I have heard of my Father I have made known unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you, that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it you. When John Endicott arrived in the New World to serve as governor of the Massachusetts Bay Colony, he wanted to do things that would encourage more people to make the trip from England, realizing that one of the things they would most miss would be fruit trees. He arranged for a number of rarities to be imported. Sometime in the early 1630s, Endicott planted a pear tree near Salem, Massachusetts. On that day, he told the family and friends who were there, no doubt, when we have gone, the tree will still be alive. In fact, almost 400 years later, the Endicott pear tree is still alive and still bearing fruit. God intends for his children to be fruitful, not just for a brief time, but for all of our lives. He wants us to be consistently bringing forth fruit, season after season and year after year. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaf also shall not wither, and whatsoever he doeth shall prosper. Psalm 1-3 The impact of a fruitful tree is not fully felt in a few years or even a decade, but over many years. There is much that we do from day to day that will quickly fade. But if we are deeply connected to the Lord, our lives will also produce fruit that will be a continuing testimony to his grace and power. Today's growth principle a Christian who is abiding in Christ day by day and yielding to the Holy Spirit will, over time, produce fruit to the glory of God. Bearing fruit. Um, are we bearing fruit? I feel like the part where this mentions um, God intends for his children to be fruitful, not just for a brief time, but for all of our lives. You know, you think about the pear tree that um, that was planted, that was planted, that was intended for something, obviously, to bear fruit. But deeper than that, it's something that will always be there. It started, you know, as, you know, something that obviously had to grow. And then when it grew, it, it bare fruit. And that fruit was able to be used. And, you know, it wasn't just kept for one thing. It was used and extended out through several, you know, obviously several people. And, 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 and they use this fruit. You know, God wants us to not just keep what we learn, obviously. The wisdom that we get from this Bible um, is intended to share. And um, it also made me think of a, a quote um, from a gentleman by the name of Gary Flowers. He's a, a pastor. Um, and it said, don't address shade thrown from a tree with no fruit. Pretty much basically just saying, don't entertain foolishness. You know, if there's nonsense that you hear, whatever it may be, or that you see, you know, don't address it. You know, um, where, where's, where's the, where's the fruit from, from that, you know, that person, you know, what, what, what are they bearing fruit? Do, do you even have to take the time to truly see if, if it's true or not. I mean, actions speak louder than words. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what I got from that. And um, 
really enjoy this uh, devotional. There was another one actually too, um, but it was uh, actually in a little ahead of the chapter that was read today. I am the vine, ye are the branches. John 15, verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. We can do nothing. I can do nothing without his guidance, his instruction, his gospel. So, I intend to... <laughs> Pray that I um, don't drag my feet any longer. Um, yeah, and, and just try to glorify this kingdom as much as I can. Okay, um, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for the opportunity of Renew today and using me as an instrument to be a part of this, Lord. I'm so grateful and thankful for New Renew and what it has done, especially over this um, pandemic that we all have experienced, Father God. I hope that it, it is used today and that we apply these renews um, that we um, listen to and watch daily, Father God. I pray for every individual that's watching this and the ones that will watch it after it's been recorded, Father God. I thank you for each one of them. I pray that whatever is going on with them or whatever trials they may be going through, Father God, that they give it to you, Father God. Um, I pray for our president, Lord, and our country, Father God. I pray that you have mercy on our nation, Lord. Pray that he gets guidance from you, Father God, and I pray that his staff does as well. Lord, I thank you so much for all the blessings known and unknown, Father God. I pray that we pray for one another, Lord, as we had heard in um, past, past week's message, Lord, prayer. Prayer is key. Prayer breaks chains, Lord. Prayer moves mountains, Father God. And I pray that we pray for each and every single one of our brothers and sisters, Lord. I thank you so much once again. In your sweet, precious name, I pray. Amen. And I just want to make sure you guys remember the theme verse for Renew, which is Romans 12, 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Thank you so much for watching this Renew. Tune in tomorrow. 8.05 here, and you guys have a blessed remaining of your week. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.